at the time. The Red Cross stepping in to help that family out. We're working to learn what caused the fire. In the past 90 minutes, the bipartisan border deal and foreign aid package failed to pass a Senate vote after months of negotiations. Democrats say it's because Republicans are getting their marching orders from former President Trump after initially wanting border restrictions. Washington correspondent Julia Benbrook reports. The motion is not agreed to. A Senate vote on a major bipartisan border deal and foreign aid package failed Wednesday afternoon. Republicans demanded that border security be a part of the bill, but turned against it after facing pressure from former President Donald Trump. My colleagues in the United States Senate have decided that they don't actually want this solution and don't want to secure the border. Several GOP senators insist their opposition to the bill has nothing to do with Trump's public comments bashing it. This just blew up in Leader McConnell's face, and now he's trying to blame President Trump, who, to the best of my knowledge, I haven't talked to him. I'm not sure anybody on the stage has talked to him. We wanted to secure the border. That is why we are voting no. The $118 billion bill also includes aid to Ukraine and Israel, two U.S. allies at a time of war. It also funds humanitarian assistance for civilians in Gaza. On Tuesday, President Joe Biden weighed in on the deal debacle. By opposing this bill, they're denying aid to the people who are really suffering and desperately need help. So Republicans have to decide, who do they serve? Donald Trump and the American people. Julia Benbrook reporting. Also 